in deploying um, a Next.js application on Railway app. So this is the application. I'll just test it uh, locally. so it's still compiling but uh, once we deploy it uh, it should have pre-compiled the pages because we will optimize the build uh, so for this i've added a docker file this is the docker file i will leave the link in the description for this So the command that will be used will be npm start once uh, we've deployed it. Railway should be able to detect this docker file and deploy it. So yeah, this is the application, uh, the sign-in page, the sign-up page and whatnot. So uh, first to deploy this, we'll deploy via GitHub. I'll create a repository and call it Next.js deployment. This can just be public, or if you want, you can keep it private. And I can uh, create repository. And then uh, I'll just push it. I'll just push it to the main branch. So git add all. Okay, git in it. Let me just delete the existing MD. Okay, it's fine. So. I'll add the remote uh, branch. And then I'll push it. Oops, let me check the command. Uh, Okay, let me just sign up on my GitHub. Uh, so um, the code is available on GitHub. So uh, the next part will be now deploying it. Now the, the code is available on GitHub. So I'll go to the dashboard. I'll create a new project and then I'll say deploy from GitHub repository. I'll configure my GitHub app to access the repository. Uh, it says I must sign in. Let me just sign in. Let 
just signing in or will be sign in and then I'll select that particular repository. So this is the repository and I'll say save. And then I'll see the platform. I'll search it now. Well, let me just refresh this. <coughs> so this is the repository, and it's deploying the project on a railway app. So it's still deploying and uh, this shouldn't take long. So in case you want to get more information about uh, deploying this application, a uh, Next.js application, you can just go to RailWeb and then Docs and then Okay, these are just just wanted to get the next JS part. It should be somewhere here. The next JS part deployment. I'll just touch. Yeah, you should be able to get some templates that you can use in case you don't want to use the docker image but yeah this is also a template that you can use uh, to deploy your application so uh, the application is uh, deployed let me just refresh this and then i'll go to the settings The networking so i need to generate to access this application i need to generate a domain a public domain i'll say generate so it's generating the domain and yes uh, we have our application live and deployed so this is how you deploy the application 